On behalf of the Lone Star Conference, I'm Chris Dew for Lubbock Christian University. We take a look now at the Lubbock Christian University Lady Chaparral's 2019-2020 season as part of the LSC Basketball Online Media Day. Steve Gomez, the head coach of the Lady Chaps, joins us. Coach, you've in no time. You've uh, claimed two national championships at the Division II level. One of those probably touted to do that. Uh, and last year, coming off uh, your second national championship season, you do it a year after you lose one of the most prolific players in program history in Tess Bruffy. So you've done it both ways. How does that architecture style of trying to build this season change since you have kind of done it in both ways? Or do you feel like you claim both of those uh, national championships in a style that was the same in, in your coaching philosophy? Uh, yeah, I, I just can't ever make uh, those type of plans or ex expectations starting a year. The, the first time we did think we'd have a strong year and uh, it just happened to work out in a storybook way. Uh, you know, last year, just a, a struggle like most seasons are. You know, all these teams starting out are, are going to have ups and downs. Uh, we just happened to have a lot of ups at the right time late in the year where we really played well and got a lot of breaks that just fell our way. So uh, I think every season there's so many teams that could be in, in that spot at the end of the year. Uh, it's just going to fall on a couple different moments here and there in the year that, that can turn it for good or for bad. And I, I have no idea. It's, it, we don't have any grand plan starting a year. Uh, we just want to every day get better. And so the, the concept of trying to go 1-0 and every day is always something that we, we try to to lean on. Uh, so as we start the year in practice, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, and I guess later on in February, March, we'll see where it ends us up. After the 15-16 national championship, we kind of have a rebuilding year the next year. Is, uh, how do you avoid that this year coming off a national championship? Yeah, you know, it's always the team. We, we always have to try to be realistic with who we are. We don't need to think we're better than we are. We don't need to think we're worse than we are. Uh, I think that was a year where we sort of didn't know ourselves as good as we needed to. Uh, our self-awareness was pretty low. And so we struggled to figure out until too late that we really needed to get better. And so hopefully this team has some, again, mature players that have been through both of those, have been through the good and through uh, some struggles uh, that year and even through last year at times. And so uh, I think it's just experience. It's just really being self-aware and then finding out to, as time goes by, how can we get better and, and not think we're, we're, we've arrived early on. Everybody's focusing on the exhibition season, playing three exhibition games. University of Texas, Baylor, and then Mississippi State. A lot of people are making uh, news about, about the scheduling behind it, but uh, you probably don't want too much focus being on those three games for the fact that at the end of the day, they don't count, win or lose. Uh, at the same time, you play UConn back in the 15-16 season, and you went on and won 35 straight games after the exhibition game. I, I guess to a sense, you were able to find out the importance of scheduling those games, but how do you get the team to, to get caught up into it or to not get caught up into it? Yeah, that, that's a really good point. Uh, we want to continue to realize uh, those games can be valuable experience. You talk about self-awareness, those will give us a great self-awareness of you know, how do we compete against really the best. But at the same time, when it becomes a regular season, those games just need to, to get us ready for the regular season because no matter how we perform in those games, it's not going to matter once we get into real season and into conference season, uh, except for the experience it brings us. So if it makes us better, either by having a chance to really compete well or a chance to be exposed for things that we're just not doing good enough, uh, it can be a great benefit. Uh, you hate to not take those chances when they come. And so it's one of those that, uh, you know, one game great, two games against that tough, three might be a bit uh, heavy to, to bite off, but why not? If you have the chance, I hate to say no, uh, and knowing that that chance may never come again. So hopefully it'll help us mature and we'll go into it mature knowing this is to prepare for the long run. How different will your team be than last year? You know, in some ways we lose two really experienced, good players that had been through some battles. Uh, we might be, uh, you know, maybe a little overall team quicker with some of the players that'll play more this year that didn't play as much last year. That'll give us maybe a little more transitional ability. Uh, but in a lot of ways, we, won't, we shouldn't be very different in terms of personnel or style. Uh, we just have to have some players that were in more role positions uh, come and be really productive. And I think they're ready to do that. But you always have to wait until those moments, the lights are on and see if, if we can produce. Uh, so uh, eight or nine back that played a lot last year. And so it's time for them to step in and get it done. 
I don't know how foreign the Lone Star Conference uh, is to you, but first season in the Lone Star Conference, what excites you about it? Well, one is just just night in, night out, great competition. The, the regionalization of the conference to where uh, you know our road trips aren't going to be quite as long. We'll have some of those same length road trips, but not as many. Uh, the ease of scheduling for non-conference was very helpful. There wasn't a lot of preseason stress of trying to figure out you know, who we could schedule to fill up our, our games. And so uh, 22 conference games is a load at the same time. You know, we're going to play those teams no matter what, either in non-conference in the past or in the postseason in the, in the past. And so it'll be fun. Uh, a lot of great teams, a lot of great coaches. And just night in, night out, you better be ready because uh, any of those teams are going to have a chance to beat any other team. Well, Coach, it was a fun ride last season. Hopefully it's a fun ride for your squad. This upcoming season, we're going to be talking now with uh, Matty Chitsey. Coach, best of luck on the upcoming year. Thank you very much. Continuing with our LSC Basketball Online Media Day, Maddie Chitsey joining us, and congratulations on the national championship once again. I know you Thank want to you. strive to get to, to do it again. I, I, I don't know if our hearts can take a, another way it <laughs> another ended. Another one uh, like that one. <laughs> she had a three-pointer to force double overtime, which LCU was able to prevail over Southwestern Oklahoma State University. And the Lady Shaps claimed their second national championship in program history in two in a four year span uh, by NCAA Division II. Your sister was able to be part of two of those squads and uh, I'm sure you'd like to match her going yeah. into your senior season. <laughs> yes. Well, how, how do you remain hungry? Uh, because when you, it, it takes a lot out of you. I'm sure at the, at on the way home last year from Columbus, Ohio, you were very exhausted and ready for rest. <laughs> How do you refocus that to, to regain that hunger for this upcoming season? Well, I mean, we got plenty of rest. We took a summer, we still worked out, but I mean, um, it's just, we're always ready. We always, once you achieve it and do what you were supposed to do, it's always just a recoup time in the summer and then you just get back to where you're supposed to be and start over again and I don't really know what the key thing is for us but I think just all of us our mindset is the same and we're all geared towards one goal and that's just to be our best every day and do our best for each other. How do you feel your role changes uh, for this upcoming season? Um, probably more of a leader position on and off the court. Um, Again, I was a little last year, but I feel like this year it's more so just because Bobby and Olivia are gone and it's Caitlin and our our time to step up and be that for everyone else. And I know Olivia's probably was a, a big vocal uh, leader that you lose last season. Again, you lose your, your sister last year. And and uh, who are some of the new players uh, that, that joined the squad and, and how much have you prepared them uh, to say, hey, this is this is big time basketball. And I know I'll, uh, you have to basically tell them there's a target on you now. <laughs> there always has been. Everyone plays their, their best when they play us, I feel like. And um, I think our new people are ready. I feel like we have three freshmen, one sophomore who was a transfer. And I think they've integrated really well within our team. And then again, our six juniors who are awesome. They they know what to do, they know what's expected, and I think they're ready to step up and um, be leaders also. Another question I have for you as, we, as you prepare for this season is something that will be new is the, the new conference. You know how to prepare for a long bus trip to Rogers State. You know what it was like to shoot in a gymnasium like Rogers State. Rogers State no longer part of the conference. Now you'll be exchanging those for trips to Western New Mexico, to Kingsville, gymnasiums, arenas you have not played in. How do you get ready for that? Um, I think just the same as we used to for Rogers or Fort Smith or anyone we used to play. I mean, as long as your mindset's there and you're ready to go, then you can play in any gym and any atmosphere and you'll be ready to go. The newness excite you? I guess it would be a little bit like postseason, going to Colorado Mesa, places you haven't been, and yeah. you know you walk into a, an arena with 5,000, 6,000 screaming fans, yeah. and uh, they're not wanting you guys to win, and no. you're able to get wins <laughs> like that. So I guess it can excite you. Yeah, it's exciting. It'll be, it'll be a lot different from when I used to, because three years in the Heartland is, you kind of get set, and it's the same thing over and over, but 
I think it'll be good. It'll be exciting for all of us. It'll be new for all of us. So we'll see how it goes. New pregame meal places you'll have I know. To, <laughs> to, to find out. How uh, sad. Well, best of luck for the upcoming season. Again, congratulations, a senior from Wall, Texas. <laughs> uh, best of luck. Thank you. Well, that's uh, a look at the Lady Shaps once again as they prepare for the 2019-2020 season. Again, on behalf of the Lone Star Conference, I'm Chris Stu for Lubbock Christian University, and this has been the LSC Basketball Online Media Day.